Um, the first mistake uh, that I see, and again, we see this after the fact, um, when when you know clients have done this on their own, but it's um, failing to communicate face to face with patients about their decision to resign from their PPO plan. Um, many dentists left to their own device will will think efficiency, right? Aaron, I mean, efficiency, we want to be efficient in dental practice. And then, you know, if, if, if you're a, a productive dentist, which I hope our listeners are, you're always thinking about efficiency and you're thinking, well, I'll just send a letter out. Well, the problem with sending a letter out, just a letter, um, is that it's a one-way communication. There's actually a number of problems with sending a letter out. Um, first of all, you have no assurance that your patient's ever going to read your letter. Now, if you send it by email, some of us might be faithful about reading our emails, but ninety-eight uh, percent are not. So, and if you send it by snail mail, yes, what's the chances of it possibly being lost in the mail bundle? Yeah, it's probably like one percent chance somebody will even read it. I think that's <laughs> they're going to read it. Just literally, like you yeah. know, because we get so much junk, we ignore it. It's almost like you know we. Now your patient may see your return address and they, oh, this is from my dentist. Let me look at it. Right. You know, and they'll read it, but uh, there's a chance that uh, the recipient never reads what you sent them. But even if they do read it, it's a one way communication it just goes right. one way. They can't ask questions. Right. If they have um, any concerns, now those concerns are going to become real in their mind. Right. right. And really it's just not the most effective way. The, the most effective way to communicate uh, is in person face-to-face -face because you get the full value of the communication when you do it that Harry, way. You have shared a stat with me. You said in communication, only a small percentage is in words. Can you give me that stat According again? According to uh, linguists, you know, people who study language, um, when uh, you're communicating um, in written form only, you get only 7% of the communication value, 7%. That means 93% uh, happens in all the other uh, aspects that make up communication. Uh, for example, body language, facial expression, tone of voice, uh, volume, um, everything else that goes along with it. And of course, when you've sent a letter out, you're only getting a 7% value. Uh, Nary, can you think of anything that, that we would do where if we could do it one way, we get 7% of the value. We do it another way, we get 100% of the value. Is there anything we would do that we would take the 7% pass? No, I mean, we define passing as 70% sometimes, many, most times, right? So 7% is like a miserable uh, failure. It's it, like no it, way. If, if there was a Z yeah, <laughs> or a Z, I think, as you say up in, uh, up in Canada, or they say down <laughs> under in, in Australia, if there was a Z, you would get a Z on your report card with a 7% grade, right? Right, right. Uh, so failing to communicate face-to-face -face with patients. Uh, when you communicate face-to-face, -face, you're so much more effective uh, because we can get the value of that other 93% of um, communicating a message. Mm -hmm. um, and in an ideal world, we, we would talk to every one of our patients. Say we're resigning from Delta. We would talk with every one of our Delta patients. Now, that's never possible to communicate with every one of them uh, because of uh, patients' attendance patterns at your practice. So we will certainly back it up with a letter, uh, but we're going to talk to as many of your existing patients as possible uh, to let them know what we're doing, let them know why we're doing it, and then we're going to tell them what we want them to do, which is what? Stay here. Right. <laughs> you know, when we tell them, we tell them. Um, you know, and Naren, if it, this is the end part of that communication, um, our fondest hope is you appreciate the quality of care we provide, the way we, we take care of you, like we would take care of family members, clinically and behaviorally, uh, the way we work hard to make every visit a positive experience in our practice. Our fondest hope is you continue to come here for your dental care. We tell them what we want them to do. Uh, and when we tell people face-to-face, -face, it's much more effective uh, than you know the, the one-way communication that happens in, in a written correspondence. And the money money line for me is when you talk about, hey, we'll file your insurance for you. So it's like business. Yeah, we, tell, we, tell them, uh, we tell them all the benefits. You know, uh, you, you can still choose our office for your care. Whatever benefits you have, you can use them right here in our practice. We'll still file your claim for you like we always have. And we will be on your side 
uh, to help you get every dollar of benefit you have. So that that's part of that communication as well.